Gave it a reboot to see if it'll help. Oh, there's me in the background. How terrifying. Okay, so sorry. Let's try this again. Let's hope this works out better. I uh, I don't really know what's going on with Instagram, but it's not cooperating. Um, I think it's because it knows. It's just it just knows. Okay, so let's let's chat about what's going on here. Okay. Uh, today, I have these adorable, these, this adorable bottle of ink. This is the Kiyo no Oto Imayu Iro ink. I am pairing it with a Lamy Safari because it's kind of one of my trusty, tried, tested, and true testing pens. And I'm using the 1.1 millimeter steel nib. It's the calligraphy nib. Yes, technology problems. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why it's being so stubborn with me. Uh, and the notebook I'm using is the Midori uh, MD B6 Slim Gridded. Yes, pen better than computer. Absolutely. Also better than phone, as it turns out. So let's just, I just want to show you how cute this box is. Okay, this is a 40 ml bo bottle of ink, but it's just like, it's just so tiny and adorable. It is glass. And check out this gorgeous box it comes in. So it's like this linen canvas type box. It's nice and firm. And it's like, like letterpress, I think. It's just really beautiful. Um, these are made in Kyoto, as you can see. A little box inside. Anyway, the box is obviously not the highlight, but it does show a nice depiction of the color of the ink, which I really like, because I think that's cute. Let's check out the bottle. So it has this cute little label. Um, obviously, I don't know what that means or any of this means, but that's this is the bottle. They're really cute, really cute little bottles. I really like them. And I chose this one today because this is pink. And I just felt like today is a pink day. It's really gloomy here. And it's like not really nice out. So I just, you know, brightness is needed. It is the cutest bottle. And the weird thing is it looks really small. And you wouldn't expect it to have 40 mils of ink in it. But it does. So it's actually pretty decent. Okay, we're going to ink up. I ink by dipping my entire pen in the section. Some people don't like to do that. It's really weird to see myself commenting when I'm here talking. Hello, myself. Okay, let's, uh, let's close that bottle up, preventing any disaster. What I should have used was obviously some sort of pink pen, but Lamy has not yet made a hot pink to match this pink. It's a tragedy. Okay, here's all my scribblings from days of old. Whatever that means. Okay. Let's get cracking. I'm going to write... Oh, this is a really bad angle. Sorry. I'm trying to look through my screen, not at the paper, so my writing is atrocious. Lamy. Now, the pen is the Lamy Safari, as I said. Um, if you don't like yellow, of course, there's a slew of other colors you can choose from, including all the special editions, and there's also the All-Star. But um, many of you are probably already familiar with the Lamy. I just think they're really great. I, I use these for ink reviews because the nibs are interchangeable, so it's really easy to just swap it out. The ink is... Kiyo... I'm going to, oh, that's probably what the symbols mean. Kiyo no Oto, I guess. Okay. Oh boy. It's all dawning on me now. Kiyo no Oto. It's sort of like a cherry blossom, but like a bright cherry blossom pink. Ima, you, Iro. One of the fun things about all these Japanese inks is all the, the intriguing names and uh, like the, the, the cute little characters and stuff they put on the bottles. Of course, again, I have no idea what any of them mean, but they're really cute. I really enjoy them. This is a nice pink. If you're looking for a nice pink, like a, not like a, like a blinding hot pink or something, this is a really nice true pink, but like on the softer side, not a fluorescent kind, more of a gentle on the eyes type of pink. Does that make sense? Let's write that. Gentle on the eyes type of pink. Uh, 
I'm I'm being quiet so you can hear the sound of the nib. If you're curious, the stub nibs, the calligraphy nib range, the 1.1, 1.5, 1.9 millimeter uh, ink from uh, nib from Lamy, they have a bit of tooth to them, but they are fairly smooth. I do find them quite nice to write with. Yes, as opposed to a fake ink. Exactly. Thank you, gourmet pens. You're very useful. <laughs> um, let me see. I also like these because they give you a nice line variation from your downstroke and crossstroke. It's actually pretty decent. Oh my goodness. I This is horrendous writing. I'm so ashamed. What are you guys all doing on your Friday? Do you guys get to play with ink today? I hope so. Okay. Um, let me see. What else can we do? Uh, okay, that was an I. I'm trying to think of what kind of I that was. Okay. Uh, like, so I can, like, kind of follow style. No, no, this is not going the right way. No, no, I think I've, I've gone, I've gone astray. Um, okay. Okay. L okay, look, the I came out really nice, didn't it? Let's take a look at that pink. It's a really nice pink. Here, I'm going to do something horrendous. This is something else I do sometimes. Like, sometimes people, like, I, sometimes I'll ink up, like, 30 pens, and people are like, you're insane. How do you use up that ink? But the thing is, I'm also using a lot of those pens to, like, test paper and to test out inks. So one of the things I do in addition to writing is I smear ink places because, I mean, that's how you test paper. You find the 1.1 has feedback depending on the angle. Yes, yes, I do agree, because when I'm writing, like, at this angle, um, it does give me a bit more feedback, but if it's, like, straight on, it's much smoother. Okay, so here's one of the horrible things I do. I know you might think it's a waste of ink, but that's just the way it is, because when you have to test a notebook, when you have to test an ink, and all that kind of stuff, I mean, this is how you do it. You, you, you make a mess with ink. And sometimes you make something really cool, like, like art of sorts. Look, it's always been like a life drawing, lifelong dream of mine to like be an artist, even though I'm not at all. So like, this is my art. Waste is in the eye of the beholder. Yes, absolutely. Now, the thing is, these bottles, although they're 40 mils and super cute, they are $28. So it's not the most inexpensive ink out there, but I think it's this, like this color is totally worth it. And look at the sacrifice I have made for you with my droplets of ink to show you how beautiful it is. Japanese pen names, on the other hand. Oh, yes, I don't understand any of the names. Yes, the ink sort of, well, I mean, I don't know what Ima Yuiro is um, in Japanese, but I assume it, it corresponds to some sort of pink or description. If I recall correctly, the Kyoto inks are... Um, inspired by, you know, places and things in Kyoto. So it's probably, like, something Kyo from Kyoto. I I'm guessing beautiful flowers. Um, this ink is slightly on the dry side. So if you have a really wet writer, you want to tone it down a bit, That this is a good ink for that. I've definitely used wetter inks. Um, of course, this is a very generous smear of it, so it's taking a bit to dry, but... You are new to fountain pens and you use Parker Quink ink. Any comments? Well, Parker Quink is a tried, tested, and very true ink. So you can't really go wrong with it. They don't have the hugest color selection, but um, it's definitely a, a solid ink. Also, in my recollection, it's pretty easy to clean out of, um, out of your pen. So Now, the thing is, this is a pink and... Um, if you're putting this in like a in like a clear pen, you want to make sure you clean it out well, just because it's very saturated. But something like the Parker inks, they clean out really well, so that's really nice. I was kind of waiting for this to dry a little so we could take a look at it. It's really pretty. Very, very beautiful shading from like a nice light pink to a deep like marshmallow bubblegum pink. I'm not sure any anybody else but me would describe that in that manner, but... Okay. Okay, I'm going to try some un Uncio. Uncio. Ima. Y. 
this is real time. I am writing this slow because if I don't, I'll mess up. I really, really love these Lamy nibs for practicing calligraphy. That didn't turn out horrendous, did it? No, I've done worse. But it's really a, a really gorgeous ink. And um, there's a lot of pinks out there. And it's sometimes hard to find the like the perfect pink. Like some of them are a lot more like fluorescent. Um, the the new Kobe lineup of inks, they have, I can't remember what number it is. Um, there's a pink in there though. Um, you can check it out on our website. It, it, it's, it's really the only vibrant pink, but it's like a really, really nuclear pink. So if you want something really bright, that's a really great option. Probably like great for artwork and stuff. But if you want something a little more usable, you know, there are other, other options out there. Let's see how, I think that's a pretty accurate reflection. You know? It means modern color is said to be safflower red and preferred by women. Yes, I am happy these rules don't apply anymore either because, I mean, everyone should be able to use whatever ink they want regardless of, you know, what the color is or who you may identify as. It's just silly. Like, oh, oh, you know, you can only use certain colors. Psh, no way. I will say that there's a certain person in this household that always takes my Pilot Hiroshizuku Suit Suji, which is like that, that pink, not like this, a little more toned down but he puts it in his eyedroppers and takes it all just saying someone so there is no shame in using any color you want okay one thing i'm really bad at is the f because i've forgotten how to do it and also the s one of my favorite letters is like the n and like the h and stuff the the um the Midori grid notebook is really nice for practicing because uh, practicing your calligraphy because the grids are not really large so you with like a one point one millimeter nib it's it's uh it's a good size comfortable size Okamoto pink yes thank you Ralph the uh, the Kobe ink is the Okamoto pink it's a really nice very bright happy pink if you like pink and even if you don't like pink you can look at it. Some people don't like pink, but pink likes them. So even if you turn the nib a bit, like if you rotate your pen, some people don't write straight on with stub nibs, like if you write like this, the nib still gives you some line variation. It's not going to be the same like as, you know, if you do it this way. That's a terrible angle. But um, you still get some line variation there. Hello to Kansas City. Thank you for joining. We're just playing with pinking today. Real men like pink. Absolutely. I agree. Okay, let's turn the page. That's pretty... Okay, this is pretty decent. I know I show this every time, but some inks uh, show through more than others. Sometimes an ink bleeds where another one might not. So you can see in this case, it's actually pretty awesome. Very minimal. There, well... There's almost bleed through. This is where I kind of cut into the page with the nib, but otherwise there's none. Is a Lamy Safari serious nibbage? Absolutely it is. Hello to Long Beach, California. Ooh, I like California. I'm going to write California because it just seems like something you should do with a pink ink and a bright yellow pen. I think the Safari is a really solid pen and... I think the main issue that some people have with it is the grip section. The idea of the grip is to force you to hold it in an ergonomic, you know, proper, like proper way. Um, but I mean, the thing is, you can use cartridges or converters. Uh, you can, you have a huge range of nib options. So from extra fine to broad, plus the three stub nibs. Uh, you can even get like left-handed nibs. You can get black nibs. You can use... I know, bear with me, but you can actually take the gold nib that you can get from a studio and put it on in a safari. Oh my goodness. I have done that and I one of my safaris are set up with a gold nib and it's just it's just killer. It's so nice. Yes, Janine is an ink pusher. Okay. I can I can see that. That's a really good word to write. We're gonna write that. The other nice thing about the Safari is they're pretty robust and they're pretty easy to find. So, um, you know, if you're looking for a gift for someone, 
There's a whole range of colors. They're they're affordable. Yes, oblique nibs. So if you if you do need an oblique nib, you can always just pick up one of those. I mean, it's I think it's like ten bucks, a couple bucks to add on a nib to your pen. And um they're great and they're interchangeable. You just pop them off. Super easy. I did write ink pusher. That's I forgot I wrote that. Okay. Ink. So what is everybody's favorite pink ink? Because I'm always on the search for more pink. And I love the pink ink world. Ink pusher. Oh, that's horrendous. I'm so sorry. A black nib on the yellow. Oh my god, it would be like Bumblebee. My favorite antique or vintage pens to use. Um, I am a Waterman person. I really love vintage Watermans. Um, I do have two Parkers. I have a 65 and a 51. Um, I also like Estherbrooks because of the interchangeable nibs. That's pretty fun. Oh, oh, someone likes Tsutsuji. Yeah, I wonder who that is. Uh, Diamine Hope Pink. Excellent choice. Uh, a pink ink that darkens a bit like the Platinum Ink series would be cool. Um, in that case, you'd probably need something like an Iron Gall ink. And I... The Platinum Black series, the, the new Iron Gall one, um, they have like a, like a purplish pink and, um, and a lavender, but I don't think there's a true pink like this as yet. I saw, sorry, I'm just going to scroll back. Sorry for, um, someone has greeted me in Arabic, but I can't read Arabic. I'm very sorry. Um, I mean, I can read it, but I don't know what it means. So that's not really helpful, but hello. Thank you for joining. Sorry for the movement here. Okay, I guess I'll wrap up my rambling by saying, hello, and goodbye. If there's any inks or something you want to see on here, just let me know so, so I can take your requests into consideration. Okay, I was going to write sayonara, but I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> so I'm just going to write see ya. Thank you all for joining. Um, I hope everyone has a really great inky weekend and everyone is happy and healthy. Oh, sayonara. Thank you. Okay, that's probably what I was going to write. I just didn't want to guess it and mess it up. Sayonara, everyone. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining. Take care. Bye-bye. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to end this.